Hey everybody, this is Try Dying to Live, finally playing some Kerbal Space Program again. It's been a little while. I've been working on the, the Minecraft server. Things are going really well. Uh, but I do not want to disappoint, alienate, or whatnot uh, with all of you faithful viewers who are looking forward to uh, exploding rockets and all sorts of fun things. And I've had several requests from you guys on how do these fuel lines work and they're sort of obvious and sort of not and their behavior has changed a little bit so we're going to talk about fuel lines now what is a fuel line well a fuel line in short is uh, it's basically a way of getting fuel from an external tank such as these right here that we're going to add on here Put some tanks on there uh, to tanks that have rockets on them now, we could put rockets on these tanks and still use external fuels, but uh, and we'll show you that in a second. But here's the basic gist of it. You'll click on whichever tank you want to transfer the fuel from, and then you click on whichever tank you want to put the fuel into. And so in this case, the external tanks will flow into the, uh, the center tank. Uh, what will happen here is what we could do. I will actually need to move this down here, but we'll... We'll go ahead and launch this ship up and we'll show you what happens is there's three tanks. So what it's going to do is it's not going to take any fuel from the central tank. Hey, it's nighttime. Uh, it's not going to take any fuel from the central tank until these tanks are empty. And so uh, say uh, we're, we're up in the atmosphere, uh, our, our rocket is empty, um, now we drop those away and now it's going to take fuel from the center tank. Um, that's that's the basic gist of it. Now, why would you want to use um, these these fuel lines? And uh, if you guys look way back, I said a long time ago that the the fuel lines are not useful. That useful, I should say. They weren't that useful. And I was sort of right, sort of wrong. They aren't useful in the fact that you're able to get a significant, um, a significantly larger amount of um, of distance. You can't get more distance. I mean, you can, but it's not a significant amount. Um, but it does give you more flexibility in design. So, for example, one design that I've been doing a lot, you guys have been seeing, um, is, uh, oop, I should probably, well, we'll do, we'll do uh, two couplers. I've been doing six to eight, but we'll just, we'll just do for the two for this sake. Um, and then we'll go ahead and grab uh, these here. And this here, and then we'd put another engine here. Um, and this is a fine um, example of a two-stage rocket. All right, right here. And so we'll we'll kind of show you how it works. And um, there we go. We'll load that up. And so these outer two rockets are firing, and then we would drop this off, and then we would fire this other rocket. So it's a a very simple, very basic uh, design. What this would let you do is instead of burning these and then dropping them off, you burn everything at the same time, but instead of burning your fuel tanks empty, we'll use the fuel lines to burn these tanks up and then have our center tank always full afterward. It's sort of how the shuttle works. You know, if you ever look at the shuttle, um, obviously they don't do it anymore since the shuttle's been discontinued, but they had... Um, they had the that big orange tank in the back, and that literally was just a fuel tank for the shuttle itself. They had two white um, engines, and those were solid boosters. Um, but the the orange tank, it was basically just fuel for the shuttle to bring up. So when that that tank, they dropped that tank off, uh, the f the shuttle was full of fuel. Uh, basically, the shuttle didn't have enough fuel, but it was it was made it more affordable to do and and made it more flexible. So this makes it more flexible. So what we can do here is we can take our fuel line and we'll run it from the bottom of a stack because the way KSP works is these tanks will empty before these tanks empty, and so um, the fuel will travel if you're following my mouse down this way and then up here and then down here. Uh, so you always want to go from the bottom to the top then you take your rocket so now instead of having two rockets fire and then dropping them off and then one rocket fire you have three rockets fire so it's sort of uh, it's sort of a different thing and so you can you can do some different things um, so if you look at um, the the moon lander I've been kinda working on the new one not the old one from the from the other video but the new one um, called the iBots um, it um, it has a, a, like a single like a three a, a tricoupler 
uh, one of these tricouplers with a single stack and then some longer stacks on the outside. And they the uh, the tricouplers, the little tricouplers in the inside, uh, they will drain fuel from these outer stacks um, and then we'll drop these stacks off and then they'll finally use their own tanks. Um, and there's one more really cool design that I saw just um, just the other day and I didn't know you could do this, but I think it's kind of kind of an interesting thing. Um, I will use we'll use this one. Um, and I, I've actually never tried this, so we're, I saw this. We're gonna give it a try. It's um, if you take the fuel stacks, and we'll go ahead and put two here, that you can actually run um, the the fuel line right to the engine, and it will work. I've not tested this, so we'll we'll see what's going on here. Will it work? We made a mistake. All right, let's adjust these. Yes, some people did not realize you can adjust these mid-flight, so it's good for in a case of emergency. All right, let's try it now. Hey, hey, look at that. So that's a neat little thing. Uh, you may find that useful. You may not find that useful. You know, obviously it's useless when you do that and the tanks fall off. So um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll save these guys. We'll we don't want to. You guys just live on another day. Anyways. Um, I'm going to work on something else here for a second, and we're back. Hey, we've got uh, some donation rockets here. This rocket is Der... I looked it up. I think it's German for the war, anyways. Um, so he asked me to put the largest rocket I could get over the uh, the ice caps, and here it is. Um, anyways, I got a couple other rockets. We've got um, we got Tony UK, who is from the United Kingdom, and not a University of Kentucky fan, which is a shame because apparently it's a good time to be a University of Kentucky fan. And finally, let's see if we can get him. Uh, we've got Make 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 Pace, and he's got uh, one around the moon. You might ask, why does he have one around the moon, and the other guys have one around the around Kerbin, and it's because um, he he donated more. It's, it's that simple. Anyways, um, other other happenings, updates, and things like that. Um, I'm actually considering redoing the entire tutorial system, um, just because so much has changed. I did add a tutorial tonight, um, but uh, considering doing a bunch of new tutorials just because of all the different changes going on um, and I'd like to I'd like to keep the channel up to date because people are still watching uh, videos from from gosh six versions ago of the game more more than six versions probably um, so uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a thing where where I want to. I don't want people to start playing the game. And be like, this doesn't work. This doesn't do. This no. This and so that's that's happening a lot. Um, and so I'm I'm considering doing that. I'm also working on the Minecraft server. Um, the Minecraft server. Try trying to build. Um, I'm actually I'm actually gonna get off here and do that in a second. Um, recording lots of fun videos on there. Hopefully you guys are, are enjoying this. I want to just do lots of fun stuff for you. We're gonna work on a website. Getting the website up. Um, and we've got a feature already that we're that that we've we've confirmed that it works um, that you can actually watch uh, the server live, um, kind of like you're watching Google Maps. Like imagine like mix Minecraft with Google Maps and watching everybody talk and move around and do stuff. Um, that's kind of that's kind of the basic idea of it, and so uh, that will work for you. And as well as being able to see everybody's Minecraft channels because uh, you I've I've watched uh, different people on there. Um, and different cool things you kind of see it from different angles and see something that somebody made and then but it's on somebody else's channel and so you'll be able to, to see everything all those different actions going on as well as I've got quite a few applications that I'm going to be looking through quite a few comments that I'm going to make and work on um, and so expect that uh, if you have put in an application you haven't heard back from me uh, that you will be hearing from me soon if you haven't heard from me already um, hey your name looks familiar Jedski. Jedski. Now just imagine in your mind, what is a Jedski? It's like a jet ski, but only more insane. Anyways, um so anyways for for right now, hey this is uh, Tridang to Live and thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.